Costa Coffee's roastery is a very modern facility, but the history of the company goes back to a time when decent coffee was pretty hard to track down. Ah, that's better. Never felt more like a cup of tea in my life. Not for nothing do we consider ourselves a nation of tea drinkers. In the post-war years, Britain's tea consumption was 50 times that of coffee, and tea houses adorned our metropolitan centres. There were coffee bars, but they were the preserve of Italian expats. Well, I was around in the 50s, but very, very young. Um, but um, I, I came from my mother, who was, who was operating as a restaurateur in Soho. There were just pockets, uh, pockets of Italian immigrants that wanted to bring that culture into the UK. Now, I like my coffee and I like my brew, but each has its own little job to do. These Italian espresso bars in stylish Soho drew a new audience to coffee. They became bohemian hangouts for artists and beatniks. You prefer a coffee, not do you? Well, truthfully speaking, I do, yes. Are you an abstract artist, may I ask? No, not yet. I'm glad to hear that. I'm very glad to hear that. <laughs> it was about the coffee bar and the music scene around the coffee bar. So I think it was hip, to take a word from the time, fashionable, and not so much about the quality of the coffee that was there. And that's why it never expanded and stood pretty still like that for about 20 years. Enter two Italian brothers with a hankering for coffee. Costa was founded in about 1971 by two brothers, uh, Sergio and Bruno Costa, um, who were Italian immigrants who came over to the UK, uh, couldn't find the, the, the taste of home here, so decided that they would set themselves up as a roasting and wholesale business. At one point, all the hotels in Park Lane were serving Costa Coffee. It became a very, very popular, very, very successful business. But the Costa brothers wanted a bigger piece of the coffee action. They started to open their own cafes. 